Today I'm going to review and test the Anton Star 8407 Pro 3D HDMI soldering digital microscope. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing and see what's in the box. the base, microscope monitor, beam, column, HDMI cable, power adopter, power cable, remote, UV filter has been assembled in front of the lens to block soldering heat smoke and dust to protect the lens which is very suitable for soldering and maintenance professionals wrench screws springs middle clips and a user manual now let's go ahead and start assembling all the parts There are two models, the 8407 and the 8407 Pro with the upgraded Pro metal stand. Since the main use of this 8407 Pro is to solder and repair, so that's why this digital microscope is equipped with Antonstar's newest upgraded Pro bracket. The angle of the bracket is adjustable front and rear and it can be rotated 360 degrees horizontally. The larger metal base plate and the higher working distance can meet your needs for repairing larger circuit boards. First, I'm going to start by explaining all the buttons, interfaces and different parameters and afterward I will start a practical demonstration. On the front of the microscope monitor, we have got multiple buttons, the power on off, mode or menu, digital zoom in, digital zoom out, OK or start video record picture capture, this is the infrared sensor and this is the focus controller. On the big side is the micro SD card slot. You can easily capture and store images or videos of the microscopic world you observe. It is recommended to use class 10 high speed memory card up to 64 GB. This is the USB interface. This is the HDMI port. Use HDMI cable to connect the microscope to the HD display. I will practically demonstrate this in a minute and this is the reset hole if in case the display freezes you can use a pointed object like a paper pen to press the button located inside. On the bottom is the input power jack which is used to power up the two metal base plate side lights. 
A total of eight intensity levels of LED lights can be controlled by using the plus and minus buttons on the power cable. The light body can be bent and the angle can be adjusted which can meet your different requirements for image brightness and lighting angle to get the best image effect. This is the power cable. Plug in the USB in the microscope monitor USB interface. Use this spotlight interface to power up the LEDs. Now plug in the USB into this AC to DC adapter to supply the required voltage. Press this button to turn on the spotlights and the microscope monitor. Use these plus and minus buttons to increase and decrease the brightness. Now let's go ahead and check what is written on these tiny transistors. I don't know if you can see these marking codes but my eyesight is already weak and there is no chance I can read these codes. So let's go ahead and check if the Anstar digital microscope will make any difference. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. This is crazy. Look at the details. The image is quite sharp and now I can easily read the code which is R2X. We will test so many other things, but first, let's check the manual. Short press the M button to switch between different modes. The same thing you can do by pressing the mode button on the remote controller. You might have noticed when I press a button on the monitor, it shakes a lot. So to avoid this, you can use this remote controller. Anyway, if you long press the M button, it will open the menu and then using these arrow keys, you can scroll through the menu items and use the OK button for the selection. Now, the same exact thing you can do quite easily while using the remote controller. With this wireless remote controller, it is convenient for you to operate from long distance and supports functions such as image discoloration and digital zoom. It is especially suitable for demonstrations and other scenes. Easily take photos and videos and avoid the shake that affects the picture quality caused by pressing the screen buttons. You can see this menu button on the remote controller. Simply press this button and it will open the menu for you. It's just like doing settings on a TV. You can set the resolution. Currently the FHD is selected. I will also test the QHD and UHD after connecting this with a smart 42 inches TV. For now, I will simply click on the menu button. You can also set the exposure. You can turn on and turn off the date stamp. You can control the sharpness.
Let's get out of the menu. We can do these settings without even going to the menu. You can see all these buttons on the remote controller. Just go ahead and press these buttons. It won't destroy the microscope. If at any point you are not happy with the settings, you can press this reset button and it will again set the default values for you. I think I have pretty much explained everything. Now let's go through some of the very basic parameters before I connect this digital microscope with a large 42 inches screen. The image sensor is 4 megapixels HD sensor. It supports different video outputs HD, Full HD and Ultra HD. The video format is MP4. The magnification ratio is up to 270x. The photo format is JPG. The minimum focus distance is 5 cm. Supports a maximum of 120 frames per second. The power source is 5 volt DC and the screen size is 7 inches. For more details refer to the digital microscope 8407 Pro user manual. Now I'm going to connect this monitor screen to my smart TV using this HDMI cable. This is simply amazing. This tiny component as compared to my cell phone is now of the size of a cell phone. I can clearly see each and every detail. I don't see any prominent noise. But if in case you see any noise then you can reduce the saturation and contrast values on your TV and it will completely remove the noise. I have this ESC electronic speed controller and you can see these three components are completely damaged. But I have no idea what all these is. I can't read what's written on this. So let's go ahead and check this. Now I can read the part number and I can order these components to fix this ESC. Now let's go ahead and check some other random electronic components. Now I'm going to do some soldering to check if the UV filter really blocks the soldering heat and smoke. First I'm going to adjust the height so that I get more space for the soldering iron. When everything is in place and you can see everything clearly on the microscope monitor then you can start recording the video.
Let's check the recorded video. I'm really impressed with the video quality. These are some images I captured while performing the tests. Placing SMD components on a PCB was never so easy. The Endenstar 8407 Pro Digital Microscope is best for soldering and repairing jobs. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.